Welcome. This video demonstrates how to generate an input file for the ChemCAD process simulator. We will be using Cranium for this demonstration. The identical capabilities are also available in Synapse. Please see our videos on how to download and install Cranium Reader or Synapse Reader if you need a working version of the software to follow this demonstration. To begin, open the MKS sample knowledge base. This knowledge base is included with all of our software products. Each of Cranium's documents is set up as an electronic reference book. In the MKS sample knowledge base, information on chemicals, mixtures, estimation techniques, structural groups, elements, and references are all collected into different chapters. These chapters are accessed by clicking on the tabs at the top of the documents window. Navigate to the chemicals chapter. Each page of the chemicals chapter contains information on a different chemical. There are data on descriptive properties, structural properties, constant properties, critical properties, temperature-dependent properties, temperature and pressure-dependent properties, safety properties, environmental properties, and many more. Data are often shown in both tabular and graphical forms. Navigate to one propanol. This can be done by clicking on the navigation menu and selecting the GoTo command. Cranium activates the GoTo chemical dialog. Type propanol in the match substring edit box and Cranium will list all the chemicals that have propanol in their name. Select one propanol and press the OK button. Cranium changes to the page showing all of one propanol's data. To generate physical property estimates, we simply click on the Commands menu and select the Compute Estimates command. Cranium displays the Property Estimation dialog. Press the Estimate button and Cranium will estimate the values of more than 30 different physical properties. Finally, press the Save button and Cranium will store these estimates into the current knowledge base. To estimate temperature-dependent properties, we must first enter one or more temperatures. Scroll to the Temperature-Dependent section and click on the Property Control. Change the property to the liquid vapor pressure and the values type to estimates. Click the left mouse button on the fields table. Cranium activates the values entry dialog. Click and hold the left mouse button on the table's first row and drag the mouse lower so as to select several rows. Next, press the series button and enter a temperature series. Enter a starting temperature of 0 degrees C and an ending temperature of 120 degrees C. Press OK and press Save. Cranium has generated a series of temperatures between our limits and stored these in the current knowledge base. These are the temperatures at which we are asking Cranium to generate estimates. Click the right mouse button on the fields table and select Compute Estimates from the menu. Again, Cranium displays the Property Estimation dialog. Press the Estimate button. Cranium calculates an estimate for each of the entered temperatures. Finally, press the Save button, and Cranium will store these estimated values into the current knowledge base. The fields graph compares our estimated values, denoted by diamonds, with available data values, denoted by squares. The estimates are in very good agreement with the data values. The different colors indicate that their associated values came from different references. Click the left mouse button on the graph. Cranium displays the values details dialog. The dialog shows that there are three different color squares 
indicating three different data references. We also see there are two different colored diamonds, indicating two different estimation techniques. Graham decided to use the Dipper equation for certain temperatures and Antoine's equation for other temperatures. Press Done. One of Cranium and Synapse's key capabilities is to quickly and easily estimate the physical properties of new chemicals, chemicals that are not in any database. For example, we will add a new page for trans 1 chloro 333 trifluoropropene. This chemical is a new liquid blowing agent. We add a new page by first pressing the large plus button on the toolbar. Cranium adds a new blank page to the chemicals chapter. Click on the identifier field at the top of the window. Enter the new chemical's name. Trans 1 chloro 333 trifluoropropene. Enter a reference and comments. Press Save. Scroll to the Chemical Structure section. Click the left mouse button on the Structure Entry field. Cranium will activate the Structure Editor dialog. Enter the chemical's molecular structure. Three carbons, one chloro, 333 trifluoro, and because there is a double bond in the structure, we will add some explicit hydrogens. Connect these atoms with bonds. First single bonds. and then insert a double bond. You can then clean up the structure. And press the Save button. The name and the structure are the only data we have for our new chemical. Click on the Commands menu and again select the Compute Estimates command. Press the Estimate button, and Cranium will again estimate the values for more than 30 physical properties. In this case, the only information Cranium had was the chemical's molecular structure. Press Save. We see that Cranium estimated constant properties, critical properties, and many other properties. To export these estimates to a ChemCAD input file, often called a neutral file, click on the File menu and select the Export Values command. Cranium will activate the Export dialog. This dialog shows the output file formats that Cranium can generate. Select the ChemCAD file format and press the Export button. The ChemCAD input file requires a path name and one or more chemicals. Click on the New File button and choose the location and path name for the input file. Press the Find button to search for our newly entered chemical. Type a portion of the chemical's name, select the chemical, press OK. Cranium will select that chemical for export. For demonstration purposes, select two or three additional chemicals. Finally, press the Export button. Cranium will estimate the properties needed for the ChemCAD input file. Press Done. The ChemCAD input file shows that Cranium estimated constant properties, such as the molecular weight, critical temperature, Gibbs energy information, solubility parameter, as well as temperature dependent properties. ChemCAD requires that temperature dependent properties be estimated over a series of temperatures. Properties such as liquid viscosity, vapor viscosity, and vapor pressure, and many more. Scrolling further, we see 
values for the next exported chemical. This input file can now be imported using the functionality within the ChemCAD software. This concludes our video demonstration of Cranium's capabilities for generating ChemCAD input files. Please visit our website for additional videos and additional information. As always, please contact us if you have any questions about Cranium or Synapse or any questions about physical properties in general. Thank you.